All video clips contained on Football Talk with Coach Chip are meant for analysis, criticism, comment, teaching, and research by football coaches. We believe this falls under the Fair Use Doctrine of the Copyright Act, Section 107. Hey, coaches, welcome back. This is part two of Stop Being Scared of Crossing Routes. Throw it across the middle, part two. These are all video clips of the different concepts we talked about in part one. Part one will be linked below. You probably got here by following the link from part one. And so here we go, showing you the concepts in action that we talked about in Stop Being Scared of Crossing Routes. Let's go. Now, some of these won't be the exact concepts. I have some of them to show you how we did the crossing route and also to show you that we're not the only ones that did this and we didn't invent anything. Now, this is a version of the Hoss, but they're doing it out of two by two. Number two down here at the bottom is going to run the post. Meanwhile, number two at the top is going to run the crossing route, the at cross at 22 route. And if you look, you'll see he's about going to that same imaginary point that we talked about in part one, where you put that cone down 22 yards from the line of scrimmage. Also, number one at the top is going to run a dig behind it. And you're going to see there is a window in the middle, whether it be high school, college, or pros. There's going to be windows in the middle. Let's look. I remember we're watching number two at the top. He's going to run the crossing route. He's going to push off a little bit, but he's come straight at a cockeyed angle. There you go. Boom. And see the window right there? There's a sweet little window right in here where he hits that thing. You'll see the dig from number one coming behind it. See the window right over the right over the linebacker. I told you all, they are the worst pass defenders on the field. Nothing personal. They're also probably the best run defenders. Get a guy the ball in space. All right, now, this is a version of our Hawaii concept that we talked about in part one of stop being scared of crossing routes, throw the ball across the middle. I know it's Halloween, but don't be a scaredy cat. So you're going to get a shallow here, and you're going to get a dig from number one at the bottom. You're going to get a deep vertical from number two at the bottom, and you're going to get a kind of a switch out. Number two is going to get out and run down the bottom of the of the numbers. And the same kind, and this just shows you how you can do different things with this high-low concept and put the safety and the linebackers in a bind. And notice they're doing it with uh, an empty set. He's going to motion across and run sort of a wheel down here and has to keep these guys occupied. Let's see what happens. There's your motion. Um, there's your kind of a look at that right there in the window. That's good stuff, cuz. Look here, do it again. Now he overthrew it. But we ain't worried. Hey, we're trying to learn, man. We ain't, we, we ain't being entertained watching highlights here. Right, boom. It's a deep dig. Right there. Look. See the window? Right here. Looks like there's some kind of man under right here. This guy definitely chasing the shallow. And then they're in zone right here. But look at that. Look in between. Y'all see anything? I'm telling you, these crossing routes... Don't be afraid of them. I mean, I used to be scared. I, I was more afraid of a crossing route years ago than a possum is an axe handle. All right, you need to ask your cousin from the south what that means. All right, here's another one. All right, now this is kind of like our hoss concept. This is TCU running it. You're going to get your cross at 22, your post, and your takeoff right here. 
On the back side, they've got a tight end attached, and he's going to run out instead of the takeoff to clear the corner out, but they're going to occupy this guy over here with the out route. Now go back. This is why you got to have your head on a swivel. Look, trying to box him off right here, ball him off. Can't let him do that. So you got to be looking at that linebacker right there. Remember, college rules a little more liberal than pro rules and high school rules even more so. It is, there's no chuck rule in high school or college ball. So here he comes right there. Just avoid that cat. Don't let him wall you off. Boom. Get back on track. And you say, well, Coach, that's kind of down the field. Sometimes it will be because you saw what the defense just did. The defense made it a little deep because they collisioned that cap. Sometimes it'd be open like 10, 12 yards down the field. Don't be afraid to throw the ball across the middle. Look, they got a play action pass. Linebackers aren't near deep enough. And there's some kind of man that guy was chasing him. All right, now, this is not any of the concepts that we talked about. And it's not even a crossing route. Really, it is a crossing route, but it's not across the middle. He's going to carry that sucker all the way down up below the numbers over here. But I put it on here because it's a great example of the cross at 22, or as my buddy calls it, the USAM route. It's going to go under Sam. Say that's Sam. And it doesn't matter if he's Sam, Will, Mike. It doesn't matter. Y'all understand what I'm saying. Under this backer, Sam, over this backer, Mike. It's And this is a great example of how we did the cross at 22. And we just told him, take the path of least resistance. Be water. Get off there the best you can. And there's an end zone shot of this too, so that's pretty daggum cool. And you can see him go under and over. See, under, over. Look at that. They have, it's tough, guys. It is tough to defend diagonal routes. Not just square it off like shallows and digs. It's tough to defend diagonal routes. See, linebackers drop to their spots, and they're guarding the devil out of that turf. Meanwhile, the diagonal route is getting wide, and he could have thrown it sooner, too. Right there. Bam. Put it on him. And there it is. See, here's your under. Going to go under him and over him. Look at that. All right, now this was the Yankee concept, the one that I told you. I never ran this. It's very similar to a deep scissors, so to speak, but it's in the but instead of being on the on the side, it's right down the middle. And I highly recommend it against one high. And you can run this out of any formation. You just gotta have two receivers, one going deep on a post, and one coming on that crossing route underneath the safety going the opposite direction okay that's why i said it's kind of like a scissors like they're going to cross they're going to cross paths all right y'all watch this see alabama knew they were going to get one high when they gave the orbit motion see this safety is going to spin down and they're going to rotate into one high so that's how it's a great concept One high, and they sent two posts deep and then brought the tight end underneath with the Yankee. How it got its name, I don't know. I saw the concept. I said, that's sweet. Did some research on it. Found out that people, a bunch of people called it Yankee. You can Google it. There's several good teaching tapes on it. Right, so you're going to see two posts. So they're making John Brown sure they're clearing that joker out. And watch him. He's going to come right here get through and there's going to be a window there's always a window on these crossing and diagonal routes he threw it a little late good job holding on to that ball now end zone shots aren't normally good especially the tight end zone shot for pass concepts because they're designed for the o-line coach and the d-line coach and linebackers but this one's pretty good. You'll see it open up. Here's your tight end right over here. Look at the window. See that window?
Look at the window. See, even if he has squared that thing off a little bit and right here and made the window even bigger, but he carries it, which is fine. That's what you're supposed to do. But I'm just telling you, I'm trying to sell you on the concept. You can throw the ball across the friggin' middle of the field. I mean, these are good college football teams, and there's there is unbelievable numbers of pro clips on this very YouTube where you can see crossing routes because coaches have figured out that there are windows in these defenses. That's why so many people have gone man at your upper echelon teams. All right, that's it for this episode of Football Talk with Coach Chip. This has been Stop Being Scared of, the, of Crossing Routes. Throw it across the middle, part two. Video clips of the concepts from part one. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe right cockeyed now. If you're already subscribed, share it with all your buddies. Hit them up. Remember what I told you about being ninja coming up on the holiday season. You see a phone lying around? That screen's open. Pick that joker up. Tap that YouTube app. Go to Football Talk with Coach Chip. Mash that subscribe button proud. Don't forget the podcast. You can find it on Spotify and Apple and all other podcatchers as far as I know. Don't forget buymeacoffee.com slash Coach Chip. Buymeacoffee.com slash Coach Chip. Let's not forget our manuals. You got the big book of bucks, the jet manual, and the offensive line manual for gap scheme blocking. It's now it's time. You're getting to that time of year where you've got to find answers. If you're a gap scheme team, I believe it's a must. Hey, listen, there's no risk. Order it. If you're already a gap scheme team, and order it. And if it's a, oh, there's nothing new in there, there's not, that's, that's, yeah, that was a waste of money. No, it wasn't because you hadn't paid me yet. Just hit me back. Say, coach, this didn't really help me. No problem. I'll send you some freebies with it. I always send freebies. Same thing with the jet manual. You know, you want to get better at jet, hit me up. I send it to you. If you like it, you read over it. I've had some guys, man, it'd be two or three weeks before they, before they paid me. No problem because they're looking at it. I know they've got a life. They've got a schedule. Some of them were in season. Some of them got a, a real job. And th that's fine. And they hit me, oh, coach, I'm sorry. You know, I, 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 this is good stuff. Da, da, da. You get to keep the freebies if you don't want it. The freebies come with it. I'll send them to you whether you ask for them or not. I promise. One of the freebies is scouting and prepping for your next opponent. Best system I've seen. That's why I put it out there for y'all. I didn't come up with all of this. Some of this is mine in it, but a lot of it I stole and borrowed. I didn't borrow it. I stole it because I'm not bringing it back. Don't forget I'm available during the off season for in-person or Google Meet clinics consultations, installs, you're not too far away, three, four hours, I'll come see you. You know, if you're on the other side of the country or the other side of the world even, we'll get together, uh, have a cyber meeting on the good old interwebs. Another one of our freebies is the call sheet, Microsoft Excel. You plug in your stuff to it. It's a great layout. Do what you want with it. Got a chance for you to put all your plays on one side, put your scripts and your bundles on the other side. Comes with a two-point conversion chart and the victory chart. When do you take a knee? How much time needs to be on the clock? How many timeouts? All that's covered. Also, the practice schedule set up on five-minute increments. That's a freebie. It, 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 too, is a Excel file. Just keep what I sent you as kind of an outline and then you start new tabs and build your own practice schedules. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out the freebie list, new and improved. I've added to it. There's 38 freebies on there now. I took some off that weren't very popular and added some new ones. All right. Until next time, come on, y'all. Be elite. All video clips contained on Football Talk with Coach Chip are meant for analysis, criticism, comment, teaching and research by football coaches. We believe this falls under the fair use doctrine of the Copyright Act, Section 107.